Hey guys and welcome back to another video and as you can see we have a lodge today and this one is a six quart enamel dutch oven with a stainless steel knob. I, I want to say they all come with stainless steel knob but what caught my eye right away about this dutch oven is the color of the enameling. It is called a midnight chrome uh, and for a while I thought that they weren't making these anymore but turns out I checked their website and they are so this color is available and almost I want to say every single color is now available again. So if you guys are looking to get some enameled cookware check Lodge's website and they will most likely have it. But anyway moving forward guys um, like I mentioned I got this at a sportsman's warehouse and I've teased it a little bit here and there on my YouTube uh, channel with these shorts but uh, here's some information that I wanted to share it is made in China um, and you know it it's, comes with a stainless steel knob uh, used to marinate refrigerate cook and serve great for induction and yes you know um, like I said they are made in China so not a big deal to me to some it might be but uh, I want to say that Lodge has a good standard of manufacturing and I want to say that whoever they contract in China will do their best to follow lodges request anyway mine came with four of these uh, pot holders or rubber grommets uh, it says it's supposed to come with six doesn't matter because they also sell these uh, sets online of these rubber grommets which i did purchase for my other dutch ovens uh, here are the dimensions which you can see the weight is 13 and a half pounds it is on the heavier side but not as bad as some other ones that i actually saw like amazon basics or crock pot or some other ones to name a few now the enameling like i mentioned is actually really well done no issues with the enameling whatsoever inside and out both of them are really great uh, and as you can see these are all the colors that they're offering on their website and it just depends on the court and uh, the color that you want not every single one is going to match with your you know like the court size with the color um, that's i don't know why they do that they should offer all the colors with all the sizes but Anyway, as you can see, this is more of a cylindrical, you know, shape instead of a round bottom. Um, so for searing meats, I don't think this is going to work great. But for stews or for braising, uh, like some meats possibly will work in the oven. Uh, but, but for soups, I want to say it will be the best thing. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So I wanted to showcase it cooking and this is a recipe that my wife suggested which is the Italian meatball wedding soup. I have teased this a little bit on my YouTube short. Uh, this is a recipe that I had never done before so I had to do my research prior to making this. It's not as difficult as I thought so that's not the issue. One of the issues that I ran into was actually finding one of the ingredients which is the pasta. Uh, it's called uh, Accini di Pepe. Very hard to find to be honest because not every single store will carry it so you know if you guys are going to make this just be prepared for that but other than that very simple ingredients we have some uh, carrots onion and celery we got to saute those down and then after that we're going to add some uh, chicken broth and i did not have enough chicken broth from the one i had bought so luckily my sister had made some home homemade chicken broth and we used some of that um, we let this simmer for about 25 minutes and then we add some baby spinach and we're going to let that simmer for another 20 25 minutes so overall with cooking time and prep and all that it took us about one hour and 10 minutes to make this during the week. Not a big deal and it's very simple guys. Very good, uh, you know, flavor wise. I do recommend it. I also am very happy with the performance of this Dutch oven. Obviously we have to do more in depth, but look forward to those videos in the future. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.